guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm just gonna be playing with makeup <clears throat> i'm thinking about doing like a blue sort of makeup look i don't know what i'm actually going to properly do but you'll you guys will kind of see as this video progresses like i said i want to do like a blue sort of look because for some reason i've just been really feeling to do that sort of look i'm also going to do eyeliner yes i never already made that promise and so Without further ado, let's just get into this video. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Revolution, not Revolution, uh, duh, not Revolution, the Morphe X James Charles palette, and this is like my go-to palette now. And like it is tagline, it does unleash your inner artist. And it literally is the palette, the only palette you need. Like, I got the Morphe palettes and I've not even reviewed one of them on this channel, which I've only just realised. And I'm still continuously using this one. I've not hit pan on any of them, luckily. But, and I do still have this card sheet. But, this is what my, oh god my palette looks like as you can see some of the shades have been used and the ones that have been used are the slightly more I'm not gonna say neutral but some of these like this one I know I've used and this one I know I've used and I've definitely used 318 and I'm sure yeah those are what they're called pretty sure Five one eight, and you're kidding. I was close. I know that Shook is in here, I believe. But yeah, yeah, Shook is in here. It's just it's just a shade, not a matte. I'm sometimes do make that. My shades like that, but yeah. So for this kind of today's look, I'm going to be using like these kind of like six to work this look those those two and that one are shimmers and so these are going to be like my crease colors i am still going to use this to like add as like a base for my crease but it doesn't really show up once i've finished the look i am also going to be using my three Morphe brushes, excuse the fact that they're these two are slightly stained it's just because that's how it happens with my shadows this one, you, can, you can't tell but, yeah so the first brush I'm going to be using is the M513 because it's just this like large fluffy brush and it's just easy to blend out everything don't know why I'm inspecting my brush, but yeah, it's just the trick of the light. So yeah, I'm gonna dip into the base. No, not no tune. I'm I want to learn these shadow names very well, not quickly, but quite easily, and also slightly quickly as well, so we don't have to keep referring back to that. And I'm opening this to get like a mirror out of it. And let's just blend this into my crease. With this one, I don't tap off the excess, but I just because I find it still blends out incredibly well without tapping off the excess i also do it in like window window wipe window shield wiper motions that sort of thing and then like i so i do like little circular motions at the end because that's obviously where i kind of more focus it because that's where there's going to be more shadow 
Yeah, for some reason I tapped off the excess there. I really need to make up my mind. Also, my face, like, to interrupt that, my face makeup today, like, some of my stats were inspired by Tati's, um, like, video where JLo's makeup artist, Scott, I believe his name is, does her makeup, and he used, like, the tip of, like, the cream contour first. There is powder on top, but I was doing it a different way, and I also did the snatch rule on like my jawline and what do you guys think because I'm honestly I'm not sure like I like it but I don't know but yeah let me know in the comments down below and also let me know what videos you want me to do next because I will happily do them that is the crease as you can see it's still pale but it's given that nice face I'm now going to go into the shade I believe it's playground yep playground which is this bright bright blue I'm gonna be using the same brush just because I find it's a lot easier to blend the shadows together if there's still some of the excess of the other product on this and so I'm just gonna tap into here and grabbing my mirror from the number seven limited edition bronze of the shimmer palette like it says limited edition so yeah and for this one I am gonna tap off excess and a lot of it and I'm just gonna go right over where I've just applied tune and obviously the shadow is looking a little bit green at the moment but that will get sorted And I'm gonna go for that like winged out effect because it does also make it easier when coming to do the actual wing of eyeliner. And I'm gonna kind of like loosen it up at the end with some concealer. Yeah, I'm doing this one again in window white motions with like the little circles at the end. Because if you saw this up close, yeah, oh, I accidentally got some of the sock. But yeah, it's obviously very neat at the moment, but that's how it's supposed to be. Because it's all about the finished product. I'm now gonna stop using this brush, but I'm gonna top off some of the excess anyway. And I'm now going to move on to my M433 brush. 
It's similar to the M513 brush, but it's a little bit like smaller and it's a little less like it's a little less like spread out. Sorry. Like not spread out, but it's a little bit smaller and just a little bit more controlled. And I'm going to ship ship. No, I'm not going to ship. I'm going to dip into the sh this shade here which is like the next darkest which is called Brother which is obviously named after Ian or Sister Ian again grabbing less I'm just gonna focus this a little bit more like towards the edge also, if you're wondering like why you can hear all the sound in the background, it's because I got my windows open. Because it is boiling in here, so you're gonna hear birds cheeping and the motorway. Well, not the motorway, but the dual carriageway, and you'll hear birds. Um, oh my god! And you'll hear wind chimes because that's what I can hear. But mostly birds. down below any like videos you want me to sort of do like I know I don't really speak much it's like I'm trying to concentrate I'm trying to unleash my inner artist but yeah Are there any other videos you want me to do obviously remember I have got that university series that I'm doing and I will be filming the first one of that video after this plus I've got another video to film so I've got the next three weeks of content planned this is the first week so after this the next two weeks I'm now going to dip into the shade cola I thought it was cola I wanted to make sure and I'm going to grab my M139 brush which is a lot more densely packed, it's smaller, it's a lot more pointed or tapered as it's called and this is going to be like fine tuned towards the edge and of course I would close this, silly me. Ah, uh, my nail varnish is coming off, do you like my nail varnish? And that is that blue campoli. Yeah, I didn't do much, but mm. now I'm gonna grab my concealer and we are going to cut the hell out of this. I also need to know. Needs needs to know massively.
little bit of saving. So, I'm still going to use this brush that I've used the concealer on. We're going to dip into the white. Majorly. And go underneath. And it would be a lot better if I had my mirror with me. And this is where I use my finger because it is a lot quicker. Let's dip into that small blue, that playground top of loads of the excess. Let's try and eat it up. seems to work really well so I'm not going to top off the excess this time okay so that work has worked out pretty well And now I need to find a brush to do <sighs> my cat crease. And of course I wouldn't know where one is. So I'll catch up with you and probably thought it's gonna be my time 10 minutes. So I was exaggerating slightly, it only took me 10 seconds. But now I am going to cut the how out of this crease. <laughs> before I start creasing. Not. Maybe I should have just gone with like a normal look instead of trying to be adventurous for once. And let's finish cutting that crease because yeah and I'm going to dip into with, using my finger I'm going to dip into hello it's me Oh, 
also I'm curious, how long have you been like subscribed for? Or watching my channel for? Seriously? Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Don't ask what got into me. Because I don't know. Ugh, gotta cut the other eye. And yes, I was using the same brush to cut my crease as I was to apply the blue shadow. Because I'm a go out of multi using, multitasking, recycling, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And if you're wondering, the answer is yes, we do get a lot of planes in my area. As I am swiftly discovering during this video. And to be honest, I can't be bothered to use my finger anymore, so... Actually, I'm going to grab some of my finger. Just to make sure they both look even. Ish. As you can see, my makeup artistry skills are not very good. I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera and then I will come back and do mascara and as you can see my arm is like yeah I've mm, sort of messed up my arm it's not too bad but yeah I'll come back with eyeliner so yeah look forward to that and if you haven't already liked this video give it a like and if you're new, subscribe. I would love for you to join this little huddle, family, whatever the hell you want to call it, clan, don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys with eyeliner.
Okay, so I'm back with eyeliner. I have had to make it a little bit larger than I usually would. I have also taken the liberty of doing the cleanup already so that we don't have to waste any more precious any more of your precious time watching this video. Yeah, I tried to do like a full cut crease. I don't think it works. But yeah. Now onto mascara. And I do have my mascara somewhere. So it turns out I'm gonna have to like look for it. But I gotta look close. Like it's bound to be close. I'll pop back in a sec. Mascara. And no surprise to original subscriber, not original but like existing subscribers, that I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. Something I use always. It's so good. And if you haven't watched my review of that, it'll be up in the card. But yeah. I have also got a mirror there, so I'm literally just gonna turn it round. And make them as Volume, voluptuous, or whatever the fuck the word is, and voluminous, and thick, and like false eyelashes. And I'm going to do my bottom lash whilst I'm at it. someone just go Tesco home delivery and of course I would get some on me what is a makeup video without getting like makeup on the wrong part of your face? I've got to say I'm obsessed with this. Also, once I kind of let my mascara dry a little, I would do my bottom lash and bottom, that bottom lash feels done. So, yeah. Like I promised, I'm going to do my bottom lash and you might notice the background noise is gone. That's because I've closed my windows. Now, what do I want to use? Let's use the shade brother, which is that like middle shade that I used. Let's just use this. with makeup is fun especially when you can get as creative as this and now let's go into the shade playground and do that 
you know, hard. I'm sorry, but what? I, will, I do want to kind of like brighten it up a little. So I'm going to go into the really, really light gold shade up here. Which in shade names is Ring Light. And I'm going to do I was going to do that using my finger, but I've decided against it. I'm going to use a brush instead. I know it doesn't come up as dark, or as bright, should I say. I didn't mean to do anything, I'm going to use my finger. Sorry, but what? I'm having a makeup day today. Honestly, if Polly looks because of the eyeliner, Polly looks as though I've got false eyelashes on, or at least that my eyes are bigger. Like, damn, makeup is magical. Also, before I started, I kind of searched two potential liquid lipsticks and both of them are the next lip lingerie I've not done a review of them jeez but I've decided I'm going to use the shade lace detail I don't have blue lipstick so go for a nude but to be honest I would I'd prefer a nude right now Like, okay, yeah, it's pinky, but go for the contrast. Actually, I think it looks really pretty with it. And, like, pretty much the same shade as my lips, but it's not like with lipstick. looks so as I have foundation lips that I don't but I really like it and yeah it's a finished look now let's give it a little spritzy with some setting spray I have already had settings spray on my face, but that was for the base makeup and not the eyes. But here's a close up. Obviously, I'm not the greatest eyeliner, but. Mm. 
obviously yeah I know you can see my spot and there but I don't mind about that yeah obviously no it's not as clear defined as some you see on Instagram or even on YouTube itself but yeah also I feel like it kind of suits my eye shape like I used to not like this kind of like wing because I don't like the look of it but damn this look good I need to stop looking in there ah got a niche but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and comment any video ideas and or what you like most about it or just comment anything you like try and keep it positive and i will see you guys in my next video bye